Welcome to Book Cuddle. I'm your host, Karen Reeder with ReadGab. Today, I have Raj McCowan on with us. She is the owner of her own personal tutoring business called The Lone Star Tutor. So Raj, I'd just like to, you to take a second, introduce yourself, and tell us about just you first. Yeah, so my name is Raj McCowan, and I have been an elementary teacher for all, over a, a decade. Um, I started out in... Um, with the littles pre-K. And then my last year in 2022, I ended up with um, doing intervention with sixth graders. So I've taught kindergarten, I've taught second grade, I've taught third grade. Um, I've had, inter I was an interventionist for fourth, fifth and sixth grade. So yeah, I have experienced all ranges of ages. And I um, decided to start my tutoring business because while I was in the classroom, especially when I was a second and third grade teacher, I noticed that kids were coming to me not knowing how to read. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times our kids were being pushed to go to the next grade and they were not they, knowing that they didn't have the things that they needed to be successful. Mm -hmm. And what really made me really just be like, okay, I really need to start this business is when I, oddly enough, was doing math intervention for fourth, fifth, and sixth grade students. Right. And I could not do my job because my students, a lot of them didn't know their letter sounds, their letters. A lot of them didn't know their like complex phonics patterns beyond the basic 26 um, letters in their phonemes. They didn't know like EE, -E, they didn't know that like their vowel teams, they, it was a lot that they were missing. That impeded them in doing their math. Yeah. And so instead of doing a math intervention, I had to back up <laughs> <laughs> and we had to work on those things before we could actually deal with like word problems because I found right. out a lot of it was that they wasn't the calculation. It was the fact that they were not able to read the word problems. Oh, okay. Okay. So... You've stepped away from the classroom completely now, right? Now you're yeah, full totally. on doing full your tutoring on. business. Yes. Excellent. So how, how does that go if somebody wants to come to you and get signed up? So what you do is you can um, log on my website um, at LoneStarTutor.com and you book a consultation. Great. And from there, we discuss what it is that you're seeing and what you are seeing with your student. Because a lot of times, um, from my experience, what parents are seeing at home and what right. is being represented in the report card, they're not matching. Okay. And so we talk about that and we really just kind of discuss like your goals, like your frustrations. And then I kind of tell you kind of like from listening, I create an actual like a learning plan, um, a brief learning plan that you can either take with you if you choose or you hire me and then I um, do an assessment and then we book our um our tutoring sessions, and then we go from there. Great. Excellent. So, and you've got it all set up on your website. Right. And then the the reader meets one-on-one -on -one with you. To yes. Yes. Excellent. And what, what ages do you typically work with or grades? Um, I work with students from a um, kindergarten through fourth grade, because my goal is to ensure that by the time students enter middle school, they're reading on grade level. Excellent. Excellent. So what, what do you feel set you apart as this um, reading tutor from what they would be getting in the classroom? Um, I, first of all, I'm able to break it down and break it down into simple steps and simple phases. And I don't move on until the student is ready because a lot of times in the classroom, no fault to the teacher. They have a, uh, a pacing guide and a scope right. and sequence that they must follow. Right. And sometimes students aren't, aren't ready to move on. And so when you are high, when you hire um, a tutor to work with your child, that tutor is able to work specifically with your child at the rate, at their speed, at their pace. And, and me personally, I don't move on until I know that your student has mastered that skill 
Excellent. And for me, it has, that's, like you said, those tools to proceed. Yeah. To be successful. So they can transfer those skills in the classroom. Excellent. Because that is my goal. <laughs> Nice. And so, and I think it's always just so much more powerful to have that one-on-one. -on -one. Yes. Yeah. And, and even like a small group, um, is not a bad either. Um, cause I've done small group tutoring with no more than like two or two or three students. Oh, excellent. And, and that's still in intimate as, um, to where me as, as the tutor, again, i I don't have the constraints as a classroom teacher to move on. Right. I mean, like I don't move on until the kids get it. So excellent. Excellent. So how, how do you get these kids? Cause you're over a computer. Some of them might still be used to that. <laughs> you know, we're still pretty near <laughs> post COVID, but um, how do you get these kids to feel comfortable that they're working with you doing reading? Cause they're used to sitting with a book with somebody next to them. Yeah. Um, um we have, I love play-based. I am a... I am a huge fan of play-based yeah, teaching. With coming reading. from elementary, um, of course, everything is play-based and stickers. And, <laughs> Wonderful. and we play a lot of like games. And what I do for my parents that enroll with me, I send out a tutoring kit. And what that is, is basically hands-on materials that right. we use during our tutoring session. Oh, excellent. So they get something in the mail from you to yes. use. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. That's perfect. Yes. Love it. And we play online games. And then I use a platform called Koala Go. I, I tell parents, think of it as Zoom meets Minecraft. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. Oh, that's perfect. My voice is going to Minecraft. Yes, it, it's kid-friendly. Um, and it's, it's safe and it, uh, the owners of the, of the platform created it specifically for children who are neurodivergent. Oh, perfect. Oh, that's, yeah. that is so good to hear. Yes. And the kids, the kids have fun with it. I'm betting. Oh my goodness. They love it. They oh. love it. I love it. It's, <laughs> <laughs> and I and during my consultations, I normally should give parents like a demonstration of what it would look like. Right. And like oh my gosh, my kids will love that. That that is so much fun. So then, how long are your sessions usually with each? Um, other? it depends. I normally anywhere from um all sessions are forty five or forty five minutes. Okay. But I you can do um anywhere from two to four days a week. Um I I normally recommend at least three days a week, especially okay. if you're you notice that your child is behind. Right. Um, so normally, like if you're noticing your child is about like a half a grade, maybe to a, a whole grade behind, I would recommend three days a week. If you're noticing more, you know, a, a larger gap, then I would recommend four days a week. Okay. Okay, excellent. And how long do you typically work with the kids? Um, twelve weeks. Excellent. Twelve and then weeks. After that, they would reevaluate if they want. Yeah, after that, we reevaluate, and then we, if we want to, if we need to continue, then we normally continue. Uh, well, I just love that. I love that you get the play based going, and that's so much fun. Yes, Raj. What I always love to do at the end of all my book cuddles is get. A recommendation for a favorite children's book. What is one of your favorite children's books? Can be any age, zero through 18. My favorite children's book is um, Mufaro's Beautiful Daughter. Okay, I haven't heard of it. Tell me about it. By John Steptoe. And it is not a fractured fairy tale, but it's a um, another version of Cinderella. Okay. And it is... Um, and Af uh, derived from like African culture and it's an African folk tale um, that's similar to to um, to um, our classical Cinderella. Okay. So I cool. love. Mm -hmm. cool. Oh, that's so fun. Okay. I'll, I'll have to check that out. Yes. All right. Well, wonderful. Thanks, Raj, so much for being on with us today. Thank you for having me.